as they say, out of sight, out of mind. People discard plastics and discard things, and things they think that uh, they just disappear magically. So, but they don't. Ecosystems are fragile, and they need an awareness. So, my joy really today is to work with, for example, different age groups. But those two children, Ben and, and Peter, his brother Peter, and also Eva, with her broken left arm, I, I get such joy out of answering their questions and showing them, well, listening to them respond in their excitement of what they find, identifying a flower they never knew before. Um, that's a big part of it for me. It is our first time here. Uh, I've heard about this for many, many years, been wanting to come out. It just never worked out. And this week uh, I saw the email and I said, let's do it. And uh, I said, let me take Eva with me because we're always talking about cleaning up the earth and doing something about plastic and whatnot. So I said, this is a good way to expose her to, uh, you know, real conservation uh, work. But uh, we've been finding uh, a lot of plastic bottles and, uh, you know, uh, food wrappers and that kind of thing. I came here today to just be part of this cleanup. Uh, this is the fourth time uh, I've been here. And we have been here before with our families and all that. We are patrons of this uh, park. We use it uh, throughout the year. So it is important to us. It's important to the community. It's our first time out here cleaning the mountain. I just really like taking care of the mountain because then it's a better place. We live just at the bottom of the mountain. So we're here every weekend and just wanted to do our part to, uh, to help keep it clean, clean it up for spring. I got masks. I got some plastic and some glass. You know, it's a, a continuous educational process. And this is not just the younger generation, but actually uh, ourselves, who uh, also have changed our, our ways. There's news every day of the peril we're in. The environment is in danger. I think people are overwhelmed. They, they don't realize they can do something. But in fact, coming here and finding a moment realizing that they can do something. They can pick up a piece of garbage that wasn't there, that was, you know, just doesn't need to be here. They can identify a plant, a native plant that is here. Uh, we can talk about biodiversity. Um, it's the act, action, deciding to do something and finding a moment to be grateful for that. And that's what I've experienced today with these people, the coming out of the excitement. They, yes, we can do something. And it's the moment. Don't get lost in the future. And uh, the next day, concentrate on what's happening now.